everyone, this is Hello Angel the Design. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very easy tutu skirt. As you can see right here, I have three colors that I used to make the skirt. So I have pink, orange, and blue. So those are the colors that I mix to make the tutu skirt. I use the same fabric to line in the tutu skirt for the waistband. So, and this is the back of the tutu skirt. So I just attach a bow here. This is where I put my elastic. So I place a bow here to cover the stitches. This is how it look when you're done stitching. Please watch the tutorial to the end so that you can learn one or two things from the tutu skirt that I make right here. And don't forget to subscribe and also click the notification bell if you want to get more dressmaking tutorial. If you like the tutorial, don't forget to thumbs up also. Thank you so much for watching. If you're just stopping by, thank you so much for watching. And let's get started. <music> I have cut my tool fabric ready and also I have also cut the lining. As you can see right here, I'm using three colors to make the tutu skirt. You can use multiple colors. You can use just one color to make your tutu skirt. So the length that I have for the tool fabric is 13 inches. For the lining, I make it more shorter. The lining, the length is 12 and a half inches because I want the lining to be shorter than the tool fabric. Thing that you have to do, take your lining, put the both sides of the lining together like this. Make sure both front are facing each other. Just take your pin and pin along the both sides of the lining. Once you have done pinning, just take it to your sewing machine, give it a straight stitch all the way to the end. If you have overlocker, overlock the raw edges. If you don't use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. I have stitched the lining and I also take it to my overlock. I just overlock the raw edges. The next thing that you have to do, take your lining to your sewing machine. You're going to hem your lining. Take it to your sewing machine, fold it, and then fold it again. And give it a top stitch all around. Make sure to set your sewing machine to 3 or 3.5 stitch length. Hem the lining all around. This is how it is. And I just take it to my ironing board, just press it. The next thing that you have to do, set your sewing machine to the longest stitch and gather your lining. You also do the same thing with the tool fabric. If you're using just one color, just go ahead, set your sewing machine to the longest stitch and gather it. But if you're using multiple colors, you have to do the same thing. Set your sewing machine to the longest stitch and gather them all around.
I have gathered my lining. This is how it is. And I will take one of the tool fabric and I will also do the same thing and gather it all around. So go ahead and gather your tool fabric, gather it just the same waistline and then I will show you how to pin them all on the waistline and also put the both sides in together. So I have gathered it around the way I'm going to place it together. First thing I will put this pink color and then place the orange on top of it like this and then put the blue on top of it again like that And then place the orange again. And I will put the pink on top of it. So what I'm going to do right now, I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch all together. Once I have done with that, then I will put the both sides in together and top stitch. I will take it to my sewing machine and start stitching. I just want to show you how it will look once you have done stitching. As you can see right here, I just put them together, pin the waistline all around. Make sure you also do the same thing and take it to your sewing machine and top stitch along the waistline. And you also take the both sides seam First thing, put them together the same way you put the waistline together. Top stitch first and then place it together and then top stitch all over again. You can use zigzag to overlock the raw edges or your soldier use it to overlock the raw edges. If you don't, you can also stitch French seam. So if you don't know how to stitch French seam, I will also show you that that is how I'm going to stitch stitch the both sides seam of these two two skirts together. I just pin all the fabric together. So I'm going to top stitch right now before I will put the both sides seam and top stitch all over again. I have pinned the both sides seam together. I will just go ahead and top stitch all over again. What I'm about to do right here, I want to show you how to stitch French seam. So take your scissors and just trim very close to your stitch thread. What you have to do, then turn it inside out. Pin them together like this. So just pin around. Pin very close to where you, where the line is.
just go ahead and pin it all around. Once you have done pinning, this is how it is. Then you stitch very close around all the way to the end. This is French seam. Once you have done stitching, this is how it is. When you turn your skirt inside out. So this is how inside of the skirt will look. So the raw, you, you don't see the raw edges. It's very, very neat. So you can overlock your dresses, your skirts, whichever uh, dress you're making, you can also overlock it this way. I'll stitch it all in place. This is how it is. And I also stitch the side seam of the skirt. That. Then take your lining. So this is my lining. I will put it inside. Open your two skirts. So what you're going to do, you're going to put them together like this. Just take it to your sewing machine and top stitch all over again. So top stitching the lining on the tool fabric all over again. I have stitched the skirt together. I just stitched the lining and the two fabric together. I take it to my overlock. I just overlock the waistline. The next thing that you have to do, cut a very long fabric. So the length that I have here is four inches. I fold inside half an inch on this side, half an inch on this side, and I fold it into two. This will be the waistband of the tutu skirt. So what you have to do right now, you place it on the waistline and you take your pin. You just pin around the waistline. I have pinned around the waistline and I just put the side together. So the next thing that you have to do before stitching around the waistline, you will see my mark here. I'm going to stitch from here and I will end there. Then I will leave this gap and I will stitch from here all the way to the end. This gap that I'm going to leave, that is where I'm going to insert my elastic. That is why I will stitch here to here, leave the gap, stitch here all the way to the end. Once I have done stitching that, then I can stitch the waistline all around. So come with me and let's stitch that together. I have stitched around the waistline. This is the open gap where you will put your elastic. So the next thing that you have to do, fold it inside. That is why I fold inside half an inch, fold it on top of it like this. Take your pin, just pin around the waistline.
I have finished pinning around the waistline. The next thing that you have to do, just take it to your sewing machine and top stitch it all around. Stitch around the waistline. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, this open gap that you left open, this is where you're going to insert your elastic. So you fix a pin in your elastic like this and push it in inside the hole and just keep going like that. Make sure to check very well so that the elastic did not twist inside. The next thing that you have to do, so when you're going to put them together, you put them together like this. Take it to your sewing machine, either you use zigzag or straight stitch. Once you have done with that, then push your elastic inside stick inside i just push it inside the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine give it a straight stitch or use zigzag to close the open gap